So, why bother with dramatic arts and education? All right, here we go. So, I'm Jamie Alcom, as I said. I'm a fifth year concurrent education student. My major was drama, but I'm currently a teacher's college at Hamilton campus. So this was a super big trek for me. Um, okay, so throughout my life, as a passionate drama queen, I mean, passionate person about drama, theater, and education, I received a lot of slack. When it came to theater and acting, well, why bother? What's your actual job going to be? So I guess you're just going to waitress then. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so next option. I will teach drama. Okay, so drama and theater can still be part of my life. And teaching is always stable. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, little did I know that I would still receive flack. So you're going to teach drama. Are you going to get a job? Isn't there like only one drama teacher per high school? Why don't you teach something that matters, like math and science? Something that will bring you and the children that you teach success. Great. What matters to me is that drama is important. It's just as important as those maths, maths and the sciences. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about. So I'm going to take you through kind of what a dramatic arts classroom would look like. Now, take this excerpt from Macbeth. I would like you all to look at it, read it over, and in about two minutes, I'm going to pull one of you random people up here. You're going to present it in front of everybody, full out. No help needed. All right, so why don't you just get started with that with the partner next to you. And go!
None of my friends were in my class, and so I hated it even more. Actually, I don't even really like a lot of people in my class. Not only that, but I'm trying to get out of it, but my school has this policy where you can't sit out and you always have to join in. Please just help me get out of this performance. I just don't want to do it. As I was reading that, I was like, no, 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 no. Those are the exact things that you need. Those are the things that you need to push yourself out of these, these boxes that we put ourselves in. You need to step out of that box. You need to get up maybe on stage at Brock and talk about your passion. Get in front of people. That's maybe what you need to do. Or maybe stretching out of your comfort zone and talking to those people that you normally don't talk to. In drama class, you meet a variety of people with lots of different ideas, sometimes very strong ideas, but ideas all the same. And you get to learn and meet all these new people. Hmm, will that ever happen one day in life and you feel like work with people that maybe you don't like sometimes? <laughs> it does. It does. And drama helps you with that. And the last thing, the policy about not joining in and never sitting out. Hmm. I'm sure a lot of speakers tonight can attest to doing something that scares them is a great place where growth happens. And so I think that if that little boy gets in that drama class and he performs, he will gain all of those benefits. Benefits! Guess what? There's more. And I'm talking about them. One <laughs> is self-confidence. Being confident in yourself to stand up here and talk to all of you guys. Drama taught me that. It did. Being confident in my own ideas. Now that one was a hard one for me. Getting up on a stage and being in character is a lot different than getting in a classroom and telling your own ideas. Being confident in my ability, confident that I knew the answer. And drama taught me that. Imagination, right? As we get older, our imagination kind of gets hindered. And the drama class is the complete opposite. They teach you how to think outside the box, how to go back to those times when you play. Kindergartners, they play and they learn these crazy awesome things and they come up with all these ideas that we never thought of because they aren't hindered. They have this crazy amazing imagination that we don't have. And drama helps you keep that going. Empathy. Compassion for another person. In drama, a lot of what we do is learning about other people in our class. We learn about all the experiences that they have, learning that everybody has a story to tell and everyone's different. In drama class, you learn to accept those different people, accept where they came from, and be compassionate towards that. Cooperation and collaboration is a huge one in drama because we're always doing group work. So you're learning to work with that person that you don't super get along with, and you're learning to understand their ideas, putting them with your ideas, mixing them together, and coming up with an amazing performance or a workshop. It's an amazing place for collaboration. Concentration. Okay. So drama may seem like a super chaotic place. I get that. There's kids bouncing off the walls. It actually happens. But it does bring you focus. It brings you focus of the mind, the body, and the voice. Like right now, someone could be over there, and they could be doing a chicken dance, and that's totally fine, but i got focus on you. And I'm ready to go. Communication skills. So my voice, my body, my gestures, everything. I'm communicating with you, and I've learned how to do that. Like over here. Can you hear me over here? Like pretty well. Do you understand what my topic's about? Pretty good. Drama. <laughs> <laughs> problem solving. I'm going to talk about this a little bit more after. But problem solving is so important in drama. We, we, deal, we work through conflicts. Again, we work with so many different people. They are always problem solving. It helps you think outside the box. You're working on these problems and coming up with solutions that you never thought of. And that's really huge. Emotional outlet. In drama, we go through a lot of different emotions. Sometimes it's a place where very emotional students go. Behavioral students go. And they can let out their aggression and their tension or even their extreme happiness in a place where it is safe, it is fun, and it is fair. And that's why drama's great. Big one, trust. Trust in myself. Trust in other people. If I had someone up here and we were doing a scene together, I would need to trust that they would have my line and my back if I made a mistake. But not only that, in a class where we're talking about hard issues, I know that that's not going to leave the room. And that really, really is important to me because it creates really important relationships and bonds that I personally have 
gained through drama. See you guys out there. <laughs> Social awareness. So in drama, we can bring in media, we can bring in stuff from the news, we can bring in things, just other students' experiences, and we can talk about them in a safe place. We can think about other things that maybe we've never heard of. Last year, I did a movement piece here at Bra on 9-11. And I thought, there's no much more I can learn about 9-11. It happened over 10 years ago. I know what I know about it. And I was wrong. Um, someone in our group had such a different idea about it, and it taught me so much. So drama allows these conversations to happen about real things that are happening in our lives. Fun, obviously. We always talk in teacher college about engaging the students. When it's fun and they like it, they'll learn it. And that's what drama does. It brings fun, it brings humor, it brings that imagination and creativity, and it makes learning fun and they remember it. When I think about this, I always think of my other teachable, and it's history. We've all had that one boring history class, I mean at least one, and uh, then you bring in fun. You bring in role playing, imagination, what, mind blown, history's fun now. It. So I think about back in my first placement in October. I taught two grade 10 history classes and I was teaching them about conscription in World War II. That was the thing that they got most excited about. And it's because we did a debate where they took on the lives of Canadian living at that time and they debated the pros and the cons. And they really remembered that. Um, I could have had them sitting at their desks. I could have had them reading off the whiteboard the pros and the cons and I could have told them that. But living through it and remembering the experiences of what it felt to not have your side heard or to hear another person's side and how it was different than yours, really had them remember it. So here's a really good quote that I found that I really, really like about creativity. So the future of our nation depends on our ability to create and to be creative. During the coming decades, our most important national resources will be human resources. If our nation is to continue to meet the challenges of the future, today's schools need to develop creative leaders. And I think the place that this happens the most is in a drama class. Dorothy Hepkid. Okay, so a lot of research has been done on drama and education. And this is one of the pioneers of drama and education. Dorothy did a lot of extensive research on this. The importance of drama in all aspects of the curriculum, and here at Rob, we learn a lot about Dorothy. Rightly so, she's super smart. So last week, I was doing a reading for drum class, and it was by Dorothy. And of course, some things came up that I was like, ah, this is my Brock Talk speech. So I ran to my computer, put in my Word document, and wow, well, I was ready to go. So Dorothy was amazing. So I have some things written down from her that I really wanted to read to you, and she just puts them so eloquently that I couldn't really change them to my own words. So I have them written down. Traumatic activities are concerned with crisis. The experiences of life, small or large, which cause people to reflect and take note. Yes. Drama allows students to see things through a different lens. They see those small experiences in their life that relate to them. They see that large experience that happens in a play or to someone else in their class that they learn that happens to them, and they're able to look at it through a different way. Then she said, when seeking to understand a pretend situation, the role taker draws on all relevant information to the surface and then puts it into action, but interacting with others who are also in the same situation. In drama, we're able to freeze a moment in time. We're able to look at that, time, that moment over and over again and reflect and analyze it. Analyze it. In life, our decisions are made on the fly. We normally don't go back and reflect on them. We can, but we don't. But in drama, we can see that conflict in front of us that relates to our life. We can replay it over. We can work through different ways of solving that conflict, maybe things that we've never thought of before. And that's why drama is really, really awesome. Last one. The important difference between life and this make-believe life is that in the latter, there's the opportunity for one problem to be faced at a time consequent selectivity being possible, and of course, different permutations to be tried. Again, students get the chance to see these, these circumstances separated from themselves and see it with a different lens. They're able to focus on one thing, listen to other people, and change up how they respond. 
So one last useful application of drama that some of my colleagues asked me to talk about was the importance of drama therapy and learning and growing as a person. So first I have a quote from Benjamin Franklin. Tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, involve me and I learn. And I think that really reminded me when I was in my history class is they could sit there and they could take notes, but the second I got them involved, that's what they remembered. So drama therapy. There was a secretary of state that said, access and participation in the arts are an essential part of our everyday well-being and quality of life. Arts therapy has an important role to play in providing better, more personalized care for patients. In a drama therapy environment, people are able to work through a variety of issues with one-on-one -on -one with an empathetic therapist or in a group. And it works on the part of a person that's working well and functioning well. Their self-esteem can be brought up, they can empower them, and they can give them independence. And it has had amazing benefits in children. See, children don't show their issues the same way that we do. They have a different language that they speak. That's play. They show us the way that they understand the world, and they show us their wants and their needs and their fears through stories, through objects, through toys, and playing with others. Drama therapists are able to speak this language and help children work through these issues. So, I hope you kind of see that a drama class isn't just for drama weirdos, for drama queens, or self-proclaimed drama kids. It's for everyone to find their truth. Find the truth that's inside of you. Now it may seem deep, but I think that if you give it that power, and you open your mind to it, it does. It does have that power to affect you that way. And that's why I think that you should bother with dramatic arts.